If you suspend two uncharged metal plates in a perfect vacuum, you'd expect both plates to stay completely still. In reality, though, the plates would slightly move towards each other. This is the Casimir effect. See, behind the classical view of this example, there's the quantum view. Here, the quantum fields of different fundamental particles are constantly interacting with each other. Although this interplay of fields is complicated to fully understand, the resulting effect is that there are infinitesimally small reactions occurring on the subatomic scale. We call these reactions virtual particles. These particle-like entities pop in and out of existence, barely ever being a part of our reality. However, as they interact with each other, they produce extremely small forces. When taking into account that there's almost an infinite amount of these virtual particles, their combined force becomes quite substantial. And since there's more space on either side of the metal plates than in between them, the virtual particles exert a net force that pushes the plates towards each other. So even in a vacuum, the universe announces itself through the Casimir effect.